In this video, I will explain how to manage the permissions in ERP Next. So how you can quickly identify what permissions are needed. So let's say I'll try to create an item right now. And let's say item is Redmi and item group is technology. I'll just save it. So you can see that I'm not permitted to create an item, insufficient permission for an item. So how can you like find out what permission is needed for for a user in order to create an item so I'll go to doc type doc type list over here I'll go to item and I'll just quickly see what are the permissions needed in order to create an item so I need to be an item manager now I'll go to the user list and change the permission Now here, these are the different permissions that I have, but I'm not an item manager over here. So I'll just save this. So now I'll be able to create an item and submit it. So let's create a new item now and let's see if it works. 12 item group is technology. Yes, so now I'm able to create an item. So so that's what I wanted to explain to you about how you can find the permissions in so in order to see what permission is needed you'll just have to go to the doc type and in doc type there is a list of permissions that each doc type have and from there you can easily manage it and then you, you can just come over here in the user list and you can assign all the different permissions to yourself and one more thing is about modules so sometimes if I if I let's say I'm unchecking it and I'll save it now I won't have the website access so because I have just enabled disabled it okay now right now I need to refresh it again yes so right now we don't see website anymore here if I go to home and yes so website is gone so that's how it works now you can assign permission for modules and you can assign permission for different documents so I hope you understood it. Thank you so much for watching.